perfect. I'm listening to the Warframe Devu Paradox um, Warframe Devu Paradox OST right now and I'm listening to myself like the music's great the music's nostalgic but the leave is bittersweet I have completely and utterly fallen out of love for Warframe and I expect with the advent of Master me reaching Master I expect me to wore out Fallout favor for Apex Legends. Similarly, as well, there will be. I mean, I might try to pop something a bit. 2K, 3K, 4K. 20 bombs here and there. But, like, I've fallen out of love for Wolverine. I played it for like three, four, upcoming five years almost. Um, so a couple of five years after the end of this year is five years, roughly. I don't know. How you, I don't understand. I don't think you understand how immense that is. That's me playing when I'm twelve, thirteen. I started playing on my uncle's Nintendo Switch. Then I moved to PS4. Camera flickering, and then I moved on to PC for a bit. My PC account still surpassing my PS4 account, but I did catch up a lot of my PS4 account. Goosebumps, bro. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps. I can't believe I love this game so much. And now it's over. I have like two, three quests I need to do. Your early quest, Silver Grove, and um, Villa Breaker. I don't want to do them. <laughs> I don't. Because then when I do, I'm like, I'm done, done, bro. It's been one of the loneliest updates today. talk about it jeez man shocks dude <laughs> I really I really completely and utterly fell in love, out of love for him and I previously had really really loved Warframe I previously really really enjoyed Warframe I lived vicariously through the character that I created in Warframe and, you know I'm looking at it back now I'm like I'm happy I don't play it anymore. I wish I streamed, I streamed a lot of the gameplay though. I wish I streamed more. If I started streaming more, then I would have a lot of stream hours by now. <laughs> I only started streaming recently as well, so. Yeah, wow. It's just, wow. I'm really over that now. And now I'm on to the chapter of real life. I'm on to the chapter of you know, learning and growing in real life instead of in Warframe. Instead of learning the best build in Warframe and trying to, you know, get all the mods together to get the best build in Warframe, I'm trying to get all the mods together so I can get the best body in real life instead. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just, um, it, it's just weird and bittersweet to me. There's also a weird bit of sleep, that little cat over there. Little sleep over there. And the little stew. Yeah, it's just wow, it's like a wow moment. Like, wow, I really. I'm really over it. I haven't really played in the past week, two.
two weeks, three weeks, perhaps even a month. I will touch the game in a month and I just have it installed on my PS4 and I don't really see myself touching it anytime soon nor really getting back into it. Um, uh, Apex right now, I'm, I'm stopped playing Apex but I'm more like, I don't really enjoy Apex that much. It's kind of like, kind of like I just have the goal right there and I want to achieve the goal and after I'm done with the goal, I'm kind of just, yeah, we're done or whatever. I'm at um, a bit of a standstill when it comes to that stuff. It's, just, it's weird, it's weird. You know, I finished the very power off and I was thinking myself like, that, that's it. And I really wish I streamed it as well so I could look back. So I, I, had, I had videos on my SD card which is so annoying. Uh, of the structure is all one, all one big video. That's another goal I have on mine. <sighs> Wish I should start streaming sooner. It's annoying, man. I can't believe like there's people that just play games and just don't stream. Oh, it's one of them ones. When you start a habit, you just can't believe people don't do that habit. I think meditation, reading, and other stuff was was um, was it for me, but then I stopped doing it. My biggest emotion, my biggest takeaway from that was like I stopped in Manium because I was just like lazy and I didn't find time for it when I used up all my time on the instant gratification dopamine activities like, no wonder I didn't find time for the positive real thing habits I was escaping them with escapism activities like Warframe you know, Hamza had RuneScape, all frames a bit like RuneScape to me, I had thousands of hours of Warframe. And, um, I do regret a bit. I was gonna say, I don't regret it one bit, but like, uh, that's a lie. I do regret a bit, but not like an insane, like, holy crap, oh my god, I really did that regret. It's more like, holy shit, I just spent a lot of time on, on this activity. What now? I'm still young, but... It doesn't feel like I'm young. You know, time is more dense when you're younger because everything's pretty much new. But to a person that's on the internet and, you know, going through that routine of just wake up, uh, wake up, and then going to sleep again, wake up, going to sleep again, and then. But if you're just checking out life, you know, time isn't seen as. as dense. You know when like a lot of how do I say this, a lot of young men these days are dropping out of college and university. Why is this? Truthfully, a lot of young men are just checking out. They don't do the work in life. And honestly, it was it was like that for a good amount of time until some prominent people, gurus like um, Hamza or Andrew Tate came into the mix. And before them, honestly, I think there wasn't really too much going on. Straight up. There wasn't too much going on um, for young men wise. It was just a lot of self improvement distraction and not self improvement distraction, but a lot of um, it's a gratification distraction. And yeah, self improvement distraction, even as well. Like if you're just constantly consuming self improvement videos, you're not really getting away in life, are you? You're only getting away in life if you are having consistent. Is it conceited action? Is it conceited action? It's the wrong word. If you're having consistent action towards the right thing. But really. I don't care. It's fucking tired, man. <laughs> so, uh, I've been awake for like three hours. I'm already tired. Free for the pain. Oh god, I get an ice pack on this. Yeah, I've fallen out of love with Warframe. There's not much I can say otherwise. Apex Legends is like my last frontier, almost. And after Apex, I, I might be an idiot and then go for Masters again if the rank system is as broken. And then after that, I don't even, I don't, I don't even know. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> after that, I don't know. 
I think it just like today I was already I was already making clips like check right here I already made 18 clips for, uh, for my initial podcast. Um, I'll probably continue to create content and I'll probably do that like, full time along with entrepreneurial entrepreneur things, other entrepreneurial endeavors, and and yeah, that's it. No, that's not that can't be it. I need to do it. I'll probably re I probably still do the stuff from having like reading and science etc etc. But in my opinion, like not only this month the rocky ass month, I need to like do month updates. It's like it's my tenth month into my worst month. Tenth month into self improvement is my literal worst month. Like, it was, this is probably the worst it's been for a while, for like for a fucking minute. And I'm just and I'm just glad I don't have any you know, addictions. I like more anymore. Bro, I was addicted to that shit, and I could even tell you right now, like. Even though my addiction was wearing off for Apex, like um, I was still managed to find time and just spend the whole day on that shit. I think for me, reaching masters is the end of it because Predator is a pantry. I have to play every single day to reach Predator, and man, that's a hundred k LP, hundred and twenty k LP. This guy, was it so Optic Duplex? He has like 100,000, 120,000, 150,000, something crazy LP, and he's only like 700 Pred, which is barely inching on Pred. And PS4 is a bit more lenient, but it's still, like, PS4 is a bit more lenient, but it's like, it's still intense as fuck. You know, Warframe. To me, is like a brutal reminder that I can always be in a worse place than I am now, because there are individuals that on Warframe that are like super fat, overweight, that like struggling with fast food and drugs, they live in a dirty room. You know. They don't really have any stuff from that. And any time someone would come along with stuff from that, they see it's it weird and alienate that person or thing. I remember my old Warframe buddy. I told him that I don't jerk off. They find it weird. Like, you don't jerk off? It's so weird, like, you're weird. And then everyone started being like, you don't jerk off? It's weird. I was like, explaining myself, like, yeah, just toss and roll is etc. I feel more lazy when I jerk off. And then then they understood, but. The initial reaction it told like the whole story in itself, and the story was like a lot of people are just swept up. A lot of young men, especially. I mean, these guys are like young men when they're like thirties. They're in the thirties, bro. They should have families. <laughs> they should have like massive incomes. Support their families, and they don't. They, they're stuck on warfare. You know? It's it's like it's like that. Like that. <laughs> fuck. What the fuck? It's really like that. Like, what are you supposed to do then? And like, this guy was cracked at Warframe, bro. Like, fucking, he was. He had like, he always had like five thousand platinum at a time, and he always had like a hundred million credits at a time, and he always would like routinely run profit taker. In order to keep up on the hundred mil, and like I think it was like top hundred, like richest players, on in the world, but he had traded his real life body for his virtual body. Though you know the Warframe, he had like I don't know if you guys know this, but he had like two hundred and fifty Mace Prime sets. That is not a lie. 250. One gold for like 80 to 100 platinum. He had his, he had assets, bro. You know how like in real life you would have like assets that you can liquidate. You know what I'm talking about. You have your assets you would li liquidate. So like, for example, you have like gold. You can sell for cash, right? It's an asset you liquidate. Liquidate as in you know, sort of cash, cash and liquid, etc., etc. Bro, he would his liquid would be platinum. His cash is platinum. And his his asset that he would liquidate would be Mace Prime sets. He had like another hundred something other sets of like bolted ass fucking people like Mag Mag Prime, 
um, at the time he had like 20 sets of Loki Prime. I don't know how the fuck this guy got his hand 20 sets of Loki Prime, but he did. And you can sell them for like 300, bro. Saren Prime 2, like all the rare vaulted uh, primes. Hydroid Prime. He had some Hydroid Prime, bro. The only thing that was like missing, missing, is Scarab Prime. <laughs> and everything else, and I saw his inventory and like. I saw, this group was an ultra focused group. When they scrolled down, bro, when they scrolled down, it literally would be like Neja, normal Neja, and Neja Prime, and then Neja would have like 6 7 form on it, Neja Prime would have like 10 form on it, and then it would be Saren, normal Saren, 6 7 former, Saren Prime, 10 former. Like every single Warframe, it used to be like this. Scroll it down, and they had every ephemera, they had everything, and they carried the shit out of me, and they. they for me, they pinned that shit out of me, and like it was, it was a great experience. I miss it. I miss them. I miss them a lot. But I can't be around them anymore because I'm no longer a warfare gamer. You know, I could keep sinking more time, more and more time into that shit, but it's not gonna end up paying me. It's gonna end up fucking. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Leave me your good time video.